Unencrypted data or information is called plain text, which can be easily read or accessed by anyone. Encryption converts this information into a non-readable format called ciphertext. Encryption works by using complex mathematical operations and a unique key to convert your information into ciphertext. The key is what unlocks or locks your information, just like a key locks or unlocks a door. A common example of a key is a password. Only people who have that password can decrypt and access your information. To protect your encrypted information, you need to protect your key. Encryption generally works in two ways. You can encrypt data at rest, such as the data stored on your laptop, or you can encrypt data in motion, such as transmitting information online. We use encryption to ensure the, the integrity of data or information. We also use it to restrict access to sensitive information, such as PII, or personally identifiable information, PHI, protected health information, and EPHI, which is electronic protected health information. The Alabama Department of Public Health uses encryption to encrypt all department-issued laptops and some hard drives to protect sensitive information. The department now uses removable media encryption software to encrypt flash drives, removable hard drives, and CDs that contain sensitive information. The instructions for using that software are as follows. To encrypt flash drives or removable hard drives, step one, connect the flash drive or hard drive to a USB port on your computer. Once you do, this screen will appear and you will see the semantic um, endpoint encryption bubble. That indicates that the software is being transferred to your flash drive or hard drive. Once that software is installed on the flash drive or hard drive, all new files that you save to that drive will be encrypted. Step two, you will see the autoplay menu appear when you connect the drive. You should either close it or minimize it at this point. Step three, open the start menu and click on the SEE management agent. Step four, the removable media window will open and you will need to set a default password. It should have at least eight characters and include upper and lowercase letters, and it should also include at least one number. To encrypt existing files on your hard drive, you will need to either open the autoplay uh, window or you can click on the start menu and select computer. When the Windows Explorer window opens, uh, select the E drive. Step two, select the file that you want to encrypt, and then right click on that file. Step three, select the semantic encryption, uh, or select semantic encryption from the pop-up menu, and then select encrypt. Your file is now encrypted. The lock over the file type indicates that the file is now encrypted. To open an encrypted file on a computer that does not have semantic encryption installed, step one, connect the flash drive or hard drive to a USB port on the computer. Step two, open the drive and double click on the file removable media, media access utility dot exe. Step three, when a new window opens, double click on the folder or file you want to access. Step four, enter your password when prompted. You will now have to access, or you will now have access to that file or folder. Caution, do not use your flash drive or your hard drive on your coworkers' ADPH computers or laptops.